So Ottawa police were dispatched to the reports of shots being fired at approximately 1021 on Saturday evening, the 2nd of September. Both uh, EMS, OFD, Ottawa Fire and uh, Ottawa Police were all dispatched. Uh, the reports of several shots being fired in the area were reported. The uh, address was in the 2900 block of Gibford Drive. We have learned that the victims were attending at a convention center in the area and that the shooting occurred outside of the facility. The identities of the deceased are not being released at this time. The next of kin notifications are ongoing for the two men who have died. Neither of the victims are residents of Ottawa. The investigation is in its early stages. It's continued throughout the night and through this morning. Police are asking for any witnesses to come forward. No arrests have been made at this time. Ottawa police are asking that any cell phone or dash camera footage or security video or any other recordings uh, of the area uh, or of the, uh, the scene itself between 10 p.m. and 10.30 are asked to contact the Ottawa police. Our homicide unit is, is, is leading the investigation. Our victim crisis unit has put supports in place for those uh, people who are injured as well as support for their families. The violence is tragic and unacceptable. It is disturbing for our entire community. Police are reaching out to community leaders to ensure the families and our community is supported through this incident. Anyone with any information is asked to contact our homicide unit at the Ottawa Police Service at 613 236-1222, extension 5493. Okay, accepting any questions. The victims were attending a, a wedding, that's what was said earlier in a, in a release. Yeah, part of the release information is that there was a, a wedding celebration occurring in the area. Uh, the investigation is in its early stages. We don't have any more uh, information available at this time. But with the, regards to that information. But the victims were attending the, the wedding? Um, the victims were in the area of where that celebration was occurring. Okay. Do we have any idea what the motivation is behind the shooting? Uh, the investigation is in, is in its early stages. Um, as soon as more information uh, is available, we, we will ensure that there is an update provided. But at this point, um, all we have is the information that's been released so far. So there's six other people who got injured by gunshots? That's correct. You have male, females? Uh, I have no updates with regards to uh, the identifying information of anyone at this point. Are those six people out of from out of town too? Uh, I, I don't have that information available at this time. Do you know the extent of the injuries at all, critical condition or anything? Um, the injuries in that all of the, the subjects were transported to hospital. Okay. And uh, that's the latest update that I have available. Okay. So you don't know if there's some people that were brought like uh, with pretty serious gunshot injuries that could die from it? Um, there, there is no information with regards to the injuries related to the uh, additional uh, subjects that were injured in this incident. Uh, the information, uh, as it can be made available, will, will be updated. Okay. Do you have any idea when you guys will have further information in the investigation? Uh, because the investigation occurred late into the evening and it was ongoing from, from late last night into today, uh, that, that information is all still being gathered and it, and it is still early stages. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm.